Hey guys, Antonio here again with another chapter on How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Today we're talking about chapter two. Before we get started today, guys, make sure to click the subscribe button right now. This way you can stay tuned for more videos on this book and any other books that I'm doing currently at the moment. So, the big secret of dealing with people. You can't force people to do something. The only way you can get someone to do something for you is you have to make them want to do it, right? Drill that into your head. The only way to make someone to want, only make the only way to make someone to do something for you is to make them want to do it. You cannot force them because if you force them, it'll have consequences, as you see with governments where people are forced to do things. No one wants to do things for when they're forced to do it. That's why no one likes taxes because they are forced to give taxes. Now the taxes have a good benefit. The purpose behind them is to help out the community as a whole, but no one enjoys giving money away to the taxes. They're not like, oh yeah, I got taxed today, guys. No one ever does that. So um, you can't force people. You have to make them want to do it. Now there's two core urges that Dale Carnegie says that we have. There's the sexual urge and there's the desire to be great. Now, you could try to use the first one, but that's not what I'm suggesting to use here. I would suggest to use the second one, desire to be great. Make the other person feel like they're great. Um, they don't get this feeling very often. In their day-to-day -day work, most people don't get the desire to feel great. So, what most people do is, when they see something they don't like, they're very mean. They make sure that people know exactly how they feel. When they see something they like, they say nothing. They're like, well, it's pretty good. It's maybe to themselves in their head, but that's it. They keep quiet. Very seldom do they do the exact opposite. When they see something they like, they say something and praise it highly. And when they see something they don't like, they say nothing. That's what you should do, not the other way around. So what you wanna be doing here is give honest, and sincere appreciation. And a lot of times people think that appreciation and flattery are the same thing. And the one difference between both is that appreciation is sincere. You truly mean it and you display that through your body language, your voice tone, and finding something that you actually care about in the other person as a great quality. Versus flattery, which is just saying general things that might not necessarily fully pertain to the person and you might not have your true feelings behind it. What you want to do is show honest, sincere appreciation. Find the good things in other people and bring them out and bring attention to them and you will make people want to do things for you. That is the big secret of dealing with people. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below. And remember, a chapter day allows for success to make way. Have a great day.